Count yourself blessed. If you are still here and you have your family members still here, nobody passed away, thank you, Jesus. I'm not going to knock on wood, but I'm just going to give God his praise and honor that he deserves for keeping us. What's up, my love bugs and love muffins? This is Mama Love, and welcome back to my channel. And um, I'm sitting here, and I'm thinking about what to do as far as my channel is concerned um i do have 139,000 hold up because it goes up and down 139,000 883 subscribers almost at 140,000 I feel like I should be further than what I am being that I started YouTube in 2017 and I'm trying to figure out something else to do on this channel and getting ideas from others as well so what I thought about doing since I'm doing this weight loss journey is to go ahead and do like try on hauls like from different clothes clothing lines and um, I've been seeing a lot of try on hauls, you know, and uh, or uh, what was the other idea I had? Uh, wig tutorials and stuff like that, different types of wigs and stuff. Love y'all, I love my headband wigs, so I will be like doing more of that, ordering a lot of you know, different products and trying the products out or whatever. I don't want to, uh, well, being that, you know, we on this weight loss journey and as we lose weight and come down, I think it would be a good idea to like to do a try on haul of different clothes because the the most thing that I can't stand is when you're looking up um, clothes for plus size women, um, you see the models and all the models are small. You can't tell how the outfit gonna look, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, okay, well that's a good idea. Maybe I can be the model and try on clothes for different plus size stores. My favorite store, everybody knows, is Torrid. I love Torrid, so I'll do some try on hauls for Torrid. Um, I heard uh, about Sheen, I heard about Sheen. I heard about Kirby Scents, thanks to um, Joy Amore channel and Plus Size Shea. Um, I heard about uh, also Sydney's Closet. So I was going to try to, you know, and I heard about the plus size Fashion Nova as well. But yeah, yeah, some of their clothes, it's like, I don't know, when they make these clothes nowadays, they always think that everybody wants to wear short dresses. I love dresses, y'all, because, you know, I wear dresses to church, of course. But... These dresses are not just above your knees. Most of their dresses are above, I mean, the thigh. It look like a shirt, you know. So, you know, everybody don't dress like that. They Kirby Sense had some dresses um, that were like maxi dresses that was cool, whatever. Um, but some of them have like the shoulder out. I had to take that phone call, so I probably lost my little train of thought. But um, anyways, um, yeah, I said that... Uh, you know, and then some of the dresses that are maxi, you know, got, you know, the, the, the shoulder off and, um, you know, like f the falling off the shoulder type or half shoulder, half, you know, whatever. But I'm not ready for that type of uh, wear yet. You hear what I said yet? Because I'm going to wear something like that. But being that I am very top heavy, uh, I have nothing to support that. So I'm always going to have to wear, um, you know dresses and blouses that don't fall off the shoulder and you know or shoulders out i'll be able to do that though when i do uh have my breast reduction and my um you know according to the weight loss surgery whatever i mean not weight loss surgery but the journey weight loss journey so um i'll be doing a lot of that so that is the ideal for this channel um i don't want to bore people i know i i talk a lot in my videos a lot of people want light camera action you know what i'm saying but i'm the type of person you know i can sit down and i can give you a word or i can you know do a cooking video or something like that also i am going to be doing a cooking video 
um, this weekend, probably tomorrow, not to probably tomorrow, I'm going to be doing the whole chicken. Um, instead of, and I use, you usually use my electric, uh, oven, especially in the summertime cause it'd be getting hot, but I'm going to do it in the air fryer. And, uh, I've been watching some YouTube tutorials on that and stuff like that. So I'm going to show y'all how that's going to turn out or whatever. Um, so I don't bore a lot of you on this channel because you know I get a lot that subscribe to me and say I enjoy your content but I want to bring something different to the table because I know when I first started out I started YouTube April in April of 2017 that's how long I've been on YouTube and um, I just feel like you know um, my channel you know I thank God for my channel you know um, but it's, it's it, I used to get like bummed out on the views but then, you know, some cases I'll be like, you know, eventually I had to learn and be like, okay, they liked it, this video, but they didn't really care for this one. So I kind of like got to pan it out or whatever. So that's what's kind of like been going on with that, with these ideals that's popping up. And I'm also thinking about doing an updated Q&A. Also, I wanted to talk a little bit more uh, with you all about you know, the ups and downs of being in Michigan versus Atlanta. Um, even with that, you know, uh, I just like to come up with different ideas, but I would really appreciate in the comments. I need a majority of you all, you know, because a lot of people, a majority of people say do cooking videos, do, do, um, inspiration videos, uh, do vlogs and all of this. But when I do it, it's very like low on views and sometimes I gotta uh I do uh think about the time that I put it out as well um when I drop my videos at 8 30 they biting at it you know versus where I had dropped the video uh during a day of uh 3 30 or 4 o'clock in the evening it was like huh where is everybody at so I had to think you know sometimes you know people maybe being out they may be handling business because my my um analytics and, and things in my, uh, you know, information that's about my YouTube majority. I have, uh, 18 to 24 is like the largest crowd that I have. And, um, after that, um, it goes up and to, you know, we're my, in my age, you know, but the highest percentage is from 18 to 24. So I do have a mature crowd, which I'm, I'm so grateful and thankful, you know, not to say all young people are, you know, problem problems or whatever, but cause every, every young person is not immature. Like most of, you know, the young people have been as far as, you know, bullying is concerned or name calling or just saying rude things or talking about things coming to this channel, talking off topic. Look, y'all, I love my daughter very much. I love Queen, but y'all have to understand when it comes to me and it's not throwing any type of shade whatsoever. When I say things like, Y'all want to hear from Queen, go to Queen's channel. That's not throwing shade. That's, that's simply saying, don't come to my channel and, and ask questions. And well, that's not, it's not nothing wrong with asking questions, but to come and say, where's Queen at? You know what I'm saying? Well, you are, you, everybody knows that I live in Michigan and Queen lives and lives in Atlanta. So, you know, that right there is kind of saying, you know, you're here to start some trouble or, you know, especially on my lives, I will delete and block. I'm, I'm deleting and blocking because I'm not going to go back and forth. I, I should, I feel like I should not have to be disrespected like that. Um, when it comes to that, uh, when it comes to my daughter, you know, that is my daughter. I love queen very much. However, um, queen is queen to me. Queen is my daughter. Queen is queen not to y'all. Y'all are like fans of her. Most of most of y'all, you know, be is very excited or, you know, just want to know basically all about her. And that's my daughter. So we, we see, I talk to her every day. I see her on FaceTime. That's my child. So I'm not going to be like y'all are, you know what I'm saying? Like, Oh, Oh my God, queen, or have to always have to talk about queen all the time in a video. 
to get some views. If I talk about Queen in a video, that is not for clout. That is simply, that's my daughter. This, this is my family, you know what I'm saying? We're family, so if, if that's just like, if I decide to prank Tina, or Terrell, or my mom, or Queen, so I can't prank Queen because that's Queen Niger, I'm trying to get clout. No, I'm not, that's my daughter. You know what I'm saying? Like I said in the past, I've been had the camera in Queen's face way before she was even, even uh, famous. You know what I'm saying? Because that's, um, every mother gonna do that. I don't know no mama who don't film their child, who don't put the camera on their child. You know what I'm saying? So when you come like that at this channel, especially in lives, I will automatically block you. I'm not going to um, deal with that. I don't have to put up with that. And I don't have to be disrespected as Queen Naja's mother. Some things is just unacceptable and some things we just need to grow from, you know? And, and go head on and, 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 and bat, badger and, well, not, don't even do that. Don't even bother nobody else but to even come here. You know, I'm for peace. I'm not, I'm not for no drama. And, you know, I would really appreciate if that would, would stop happening. You know what I'm saying? So I'm asking nicely, you know, could you please stop doing that? Because it's very disrespectful. Now, I don't know how I got off into this, but I'm, I'm, I'm basically saying the things that happened. Was like, why is she saying this? What? Because I'm constantly, you know, it's it's it, it, it's it's people that come inside my, uh, you know, comments and they're rude. Now I get it. It's social media, but some things are cyberbullying. Okay, it's a difference from being on social media and yeah, you put your business out there, your life out there, so people give their opinion on it. It's different. It's not an opinion. Some things are bullying, cyberbullying saying rude things, calling names. You know, that's not giving an opinion. Even YouTube says to please keep the comments at a respectful level. I don't know, I wish I could get a hold of YouTube sometimes. I'm gonna find a way to when it comes to comments and rude behavior on here because it should be reported just like it is in Facebook. I wish that YouTube was just like Facebook. When they see some rude stuff somebody reported, you in Facebook jail for 30 days because it don't make no sense. It don't make no sense. So I have a right to be on my channel and put out content just like everybody else. And it has no, it has no different, uh, it, it doesn't matter about an age limit. You know what I'm saying? It's just simply, if you don't like my channel, don't come to it. Don't even comment. Don't say nothing. You know, I don't, I don't need for nobody to come to my channel like, why you on here talking? Or, or why you always gotta have Queen or say something about Queen? You need your daughter for clout and all this. First of all, why you even watching me? I'm Queen's mother. You gonna see, you gonna see uh, me talk about Queen. You may see me, it's not every video and every, and y'all can vouch for that. But when I do, I don't need to be badgered and bullied for that. That's my child, I birthed. You know what I'm saying? And then somebody came in my comments and said, we wouldn't even know you if it wasn't for Queen. But you sound crazy because you wouldn't even know Queen if it wasn't for me. I birth Queen, you know? So I just need the foolishness to stop. And I just really um, need to put it out there because I plan on, like I said, doing new ideals, you know, for my channel. And I do need my love bugs and love muffins, true supporters, to leave in the comments what would, they like to see and what would they think the majority of the others would like to see because i'm not gonna give up you know what i'm saying i believe that the lord is he's well he is he's blessing me you know he has blessed my channel and i'm grateful i'm grateful for every view that i get i'm grateful for two to three or four or five to ten thousand i'm grateful for that because some people get 138 views some people don't get views at all some people get 38 views some people get don't even make it past to a thousand you know what i'm saying but i'm grateful because whatever i talk about i know that people listen because there is something evidently that i'm giving that god is using me to give to touch people's lives to for them to tune in like that you know what I'm saying? I'm grateful for the hundred and something people that's on my live. Some people got 20 people on their live. Now, I do notice the difference that when I'm in a church and I'm going live, I do see the highest 24 people versus when I'm sitting at home talking, more people. Okay, I, people not interested in church, I get that. But I still do that my lives because the 24 people that it, 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 or, or fit to 15 people that usually go in the boiling down to I'm going to hold that, that, that live open just for that one or two person, a uh, 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 one or two or three people to be 
encouraged to reach them through the word of God. It don't have to be a large number of crowd with me. So I'm not gonna not go live just because, well, I ain't gonna go live because it's gonna be 15 to 20 people. No, those 15 to 20 people, somebody could be delivered out of them 15, 20 people from that live church service if it wasn't all of them. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna do my content as far as gospel is concerned as far as getting the word of God out because this is my platform. And I believe that God is going to bless me and take me higher when it comes to that platform on getting his name out. You know, his word will go out and, and reach many. And however, I, if I could be a part of that for him, then I will do so. I'm not gonna do it, not, not, not going to do it because of, I ain't getting enough views. I ain't, I, I ain't where, it's not about that sometimes. Sometimes it's about somebody's soul. Sometimes it's about somebody's mental, where they at. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I do it. I know that the views are low when it comes to that, but I don't care because it matters to me whether I, I hold that phone live, like I said, just for one or two people. I know God is pleased with that because why? He'll even leave the 99 and go after the one. You know, he cares about each and every last one of us that he knows the number of hair that, that, that's on our head. So I'm like him, I'm striving to be like him because that's the God I serve, that's my God, that's my father, so I'm supposed to be like him. So I, I wanna reach out and care and empathize with uh, 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 others who can't get out the house and get to church. Some people are bedridden. Some people ain't got a car. Some people, I don't know, church hurt. They scared to go inside the church or maybe their church is closed. And here I am sitting up in church enjoying the word. I'm thinking about somebody else that can maybe hear it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna do that. And I appreciate um, the um, comments that come in. They're, they're, they're grateful and they're thankful and I see a lot, it touches my heart y'all when I see those few people say, thank you for going live, thank you for this, thank you Lord. And all throughout the, the service when I'm, I'm uh, recording, I see your comments. I see your comments that say, thank you Lord, oh my God, and y'all following along with the service and y'all praising the Lord with the service. That makes me feel like, you know what Lord, thank you Jesus. Because even in that you can use me. However you use me Lord. You know, I'll be used. And I'm thankful and I'm grateful for that. So I just had that to say, y'all. I just wanted to, um, you know, just put some things out there and let y'all know how I'm feeling and where I'm coming from. Um, but I am thankful for what I do have. I am thankful for what the views that I do get. Because like I say, YouTube pays me every month. And um, I'm grateful for what I, I, I cause I, I mean, hey, I can spend it freely and do what I want, it's mine. So I'm, I'm happy for that. I just want to be able to reach many and I know that God is going to bless my channel because it was spoken, you know, and I received it. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end this video out, but I really do need for y'all to like, comment. Y'all can dislike, by the way, I'm going to say that. Dislike because it's always that one person that disliked my video. You too, baby. You, you could dislike the video or whatever. But nevertheless, you know, like, subscribe, share, and please let me know the content that you all would like to see and majority of you all would like to see. So with that being said, I'm thankful and I'm grateful for y'all. Love y'all. Peace out in Jesus' name. Be blessed.